Always be prepared is the Boy Scout motto, and with the proper field gear, you will be. Hello, FPV Tree Racers. When you get to the field, you want to fly. And if you're like me, fly a lot. If something goes wrong, you want to quickly fix it and get back to flying. After numerous iterations, I finally have a decent field case setup that keeps me airborne. Let's go take a look. This is the first of two flight cases. You can pick these ones up for around 30 bucks over at Lowe's or Home Depot. I got mine at Harbor Freight. Put all my own foam on the inside. Cutouts for eight batteries. These batteries are Glacier 1300 30Cs, 3S. Some extra spot spares here for my tools. Here's my mini quad. Put a little extra wire to reinforce the uh, antenna. Build my own shim. Two various shims, one at 15 degrees, one at seven degrees. I have my camera tilted at the maximum I can tilt it. Um, this frame, which is a flip 260, can hold six inch blades without cutting into the frame. And that's a really nice feature. The other nice thing is if you get these frames from a lot of the manufacturers, they'll have the, the legs that are a piece of aluminum that are bolted on. The problem is those break in, and in this situation you can't get to it. What I did was just take some pieces of wood, drill a little hole in it, and if I hit hard, it folds right over. I pick it up and I fold it back. The key is to have the zip ties not too tight. They don't vibrate in the air, but if I hit, they just roll right over and don't break. Really nice. Okay. There's the quad. Spare blades that I separate by packages, color coded. Mark them left and right. You notice I do that on all my blades. It helps me idiot proof them in the air. Also, it helps me take inventory control when I need to order new blades. If I'm just going out to fly some quick flights with my transmitter, my goggles, and just bringing the quad out, this is all I'll bring and I'll carry in my other hand uh, the transmitter and the goggles. So then I'll carry a few extra tools in here, some zip ties, always an extra lock nut, prop adapter, and I. this is what I use. I don't use a Mobius to, to record. I use two keychain cameras, D lens, which means it's equivalent to a 2.1 millimeter lens, which is around 135 degrees field of view. Why two? Because the batteries on these last around 45 to 50 minutes. And if you forget to turn it off while you're doing another flight recording, um, you won't have enough. To get all your flights in. So for $40, you end up buying two. That's the first flight case. Let's go take a look at the second case. This was my old case for my old 450 helicopter. And what's nice about it is it's deep, so I can create two layers of storage. A toolbox also works really good in this situation. Now, this one's all about field charging, so if I'm gonna do 18 to 25 flights or so, this case is coming with me. Our logo, of course, a watch to keep time so I know when to get home. We've added some Velcro strips here, so as I'm done with my batteries and they're waiting to go to be charged, they just stick on here and they're not fumbling around in the field because this isn't always level. I've got my tunage so I can take my uh, phone and put it in here and crank up some music while I'm flying. I like Velcro, as you can tell. Battery voltmeter sticks right onto the top of the charger, and I always have a pen of marking device also on the charger. Um, sometimes I throw yellow tape across to count how many charges I have. Big believer of parallel charging, so on the top, I use power poles as my connector, and we can charge up to six at a time. And then we have splitters with lots of squibs coming off, so this can be look like a little bit of spaghetti going on, but it works really well. My tools. Nice about quads is you don't need a lot of tools, so if I break a zip tie, I've got my little my cutters. Notice everything has Velcro, so it's not fumbling and falling all around. Uh, a simple uh, 1.5 millimeter hex. Um, the the hubs can sometimes get loose when you hit a branch. Quick tight on the grub screw, and they're locked in. An eight millimeter uh, nut nut wrench. Once again, a little Velcro here, and they're on there nice and tight. I'll have a voltmeter coming in so I can measure how big my battery is that I'm drawing power from. This is just a typical Hobby, Hobby King 400 watt mega. You don't need much. This one can go up to 20 amps on uh, 3S. 
move this out of the way. This is built on a deck, so we just remove the deck. Now let's take a look at what's underneath the deck. Our transmitter. Notice we have a separate dedicated timer right on top. This is because we turn our transmitter timing function to a stopwatch, which we always talk about in our videos. On the right hand side, this is where we store our goggles. This attachment has a voltmeter and a quick on off switch. It comes off right like that. That way we don't have wires dangling all over the place. It has diversity, so we have um, a, a helix antenna and then a regular washer antenna. Inside the box, what else do we have? Well, occasionally we do break some of those legs, so we have a whole bunch of spare parts here. Lots of blades. These are all of our blades right here. Different sizes, different shapes for different situations. Always like to have a little tape. Working around. This is a handheld steady cam that is also very useful. You can tighten everything up, make it a tripod. It makes for videoing really nice and portable. Telescoping for our GoPro. When you get a little bit older, this is kind of nice. Five hour energy, Red Bull, concentrated into a little container. Have a few of those. Bug spray, gotta have bug spray. An extra battery for our video gear if we need it. Some more video gear for specifically for our GoPro. Right here, this is our battery. This is a, a deep cell, 18 amp hour battery. And what that means is if a typical charge for a quad on these three cells, if this is 1300, we can take about a thousand milliamps out of one of these. That translates into one amp hour. So this is 18 amp hours. We could probably draw 15 charges off this in the field. So if I have eight batteries and then I go in and I recharge eight batteries back up, assuming I take a thousand milliamps out of them and I put 15, so eight plus 15, is that right? Yeah, eight plus 15 is around 23 flights. I do seven flights an hour, that's three hours of flying. You can see over here, this is where I keep some of my extra shims. Pruning shares for tree racers. So we have trees. Sometimes those trees don't work for us, so we trim them. Pad of paper so I can jot notes. I print out all my courses I fly through the year, and that way I can write down my best times. And what I do when I go to a course is I usually will write down during the day my best individual single lap time. But then I simulate a race scenario where I usually will do multiple laps. For me, uh, a minute and a half to two minutes is a run, and a run usually consists of two or three laps depending on the size of the course. So I'll say, okay, this time out, this is a simulated race situation. This one counts. So it's not a throwaway. If I DNF, that's what that says right there, DNF, it's a DNF. So I take two passes, two runs. So at Noob's Knob, for example, um, this is a three, this is a three lap race. I did a 128 and then I crashed on the second one DNF. I also bring out a big battery and that's my backup in case I want to do some more flying. You notice I have two plugs coming off this. One goes into the charger, the other one goes back into my portable docking station that I put a BEC on. You can see right there, there's the BEC with the plug off it. So this takes 12 volts and steps it down to 5 volts, which drives my iPod docking station. To get everything moved out to the site, I have a foldable wagon. I can put one of the field cases, the extra 12 volt car battery, I put a gallon of water, a towel, I put all my yellow arrows in there, my cooler, and my other FPV tree racer quad case. Those two cases provide a quick setup and teardown. Keeps me organized and lets me do simple repairs. I have everything I need to keep me flying for three hours and 20 flights. That's 80 minutes of stick time. So carry what you need with the least amount of cases possible. Now, go light it up.